This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we welcome back Chef Linky Murray. She is here with two delicious recipes. What are we making today? <laughs> we, you know, it's New Year, and it's time to get in shape, and it's time to have or to to make those New Year resolutions come true. Mm -hmm. So I decided to throw out the butter, throw out the heavy cream. We're cooking a garden chili today. Ooh, yum! Like this a blazing good. garden chili. So, and then to accompany that, we're going to do some rosemary infused cranberry cider. Cranberry is so good mm. for you, so it's great to use that in a cider instead of, you know, it's because it's not apple season anymore. Right. So, yeah, so the, the, the garden vegetable chili is just lots of great veggies. You know, of course, you have some of your beans for your protein, mm -hmm. and then we're also using portobello mushrooms to get some of that pro protein in because it's a, a you know, it's, yeah, yeah, to get some substance. And some zucchini, some tomatoes, lots of different peppers, mm -hmm. some onions, some garlic, and of course I love these little uh, bablano peppers. They're just really nice and they're not too spicy, so That's they're, they're delicious. Yeah. In case anyone's a little skeptical, a little on, skeptical. on how much heat they can handle. <laughs> well, we are going to use one jalapeno, but mm, you know, it'll be fine. It'll simmer down. Um, some spices here too. Some spa spices. We're going to use some vegetable sock. I actually use white wine in my mm -hmm. chili as well. It just gives a r really nice flavor. A cooking wine or a white wine that you would drink? A white wine that you would drink. Okay. I never That's cook with anything. I won't drink. Yes. And then some chili powder, some cumin, salt and pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and you know, tomato paste. It's going to be delicious. Nice. And quickly for our cider, just a couple uh, of ingredients. For the cider, here. we're doing cranberry juice, of course. We can spike it with whiskey, just okay. if, if we feel like Why not? it. <laughs> some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some brown sugar, and then of course the beautiful rosemary that's going to give it a really nice earthy taste. Yum. All right. Sounds Absolutely. good. They're both healthy recipes. So uh, write down those ingredients now. We're going to start cooking in just a bit. We are back in the kitchen this morning. Linky is here this morning with us. We are making we're making blazing garden chili. That's Which, a mouthful, right? It's a mouthful. <laughs> I love chili. I love chili. And I do too. You were chopping up things. You got you have tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes, some red bell pepper, some yellow bell pepper, orange. I love bell peppers because they're so sweet, so right. they bring a sweetness to yeah. the chili that's to die for. So you can actually go ahead and start. I saute the onions. Okay. Because they take a little bit. Yep. And we're gonna add a little bit more some olive oil. You can go, just go just, ahead and stir that. Yes. This moment. Okay. And then we're going to add about two cups of vegetable stock. All right. And this, you know, you can give or take some. We'll just add a little. Now, something that I love to add is white wine because it just gives a really nice flavor to the chili. Okay. So we're going to add that. We're going to add, and I had a spoon somewhere. Spoon? We can get your spoon. The oh, spoon right here. I got here. a spoon. I got it. Go. You got it? There okay. we go. All right. We're going to add tomato paste. Mm hmm. Love me some tomato Mix paste. You know the the wine that's in here really smells good it smells with delicious, everything together. Right? Yeah. Exactly. And then you ju we're just going to start adding the beans. And I'm going to let you do this so I can go ahead okay. and chop off this right. poblano pepper. What type of beans for everybody at home so they know? Um, those are red kidneys. Just red kidney yes. beans. Okay. And then we're going to do some um, chickpeas, which is unusual sometimes for a chili. Do you want me to get sure. together take, take care of that? Here you Put go. These in. Yeah. Go ahead and do I that. Like chickpeas. Some chickpeas. You're on a roll. I like and this then some today. Black <laughs> I'm just having it. You're stirring, it. and I'm not making you chop up. So that's probably that's, why you're that's liking a good it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put these in here, and then you can just go ahead and start adding all of this. Okay. This is gonna. Or actually, do you want me to do that too? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, you just want to <laughs> pop that in. Yeah, there we go. So I love to pop in these tomatoes, and I just kind of chop them up chunky because it just it's kind of like a rustic sure, chili, you know. I like so that. it's so it's very. Yep. Very delicious, and all of these. And then a lot of times colors. after this, this simmers down anyway. A lot of it's gonna they'll get a little smaller and exactly. kind of break apart too. Exactly. But it's a real hearty, hearty chili. It's a really hearty chili, and then we're gonna add one jalapeno and some garlic. All right. So this is gonna have a little kick to it. So if you it's don't like the kick. you don't like the too too spicy, you don't probably have to add that. But exactly, if exactly. If you're gonna have chili, if you're gonna have chili, don't make mess around. Make a little <laughs> kick. All right. We'll let this uh, we'll let this simmer for a little while. Put some more stuff in here, and then we are gonna try this out this morning. Because it looks really good. Back to you. We are in the Rocho Kitchen. Linky Murray is here. We're making blazing Gordon chili this morning. <laughs> It, you know what? And everything is on the pot, and now we're just waiting. It's, so now we let just It's a hurry up and wait game. Yes, but you need to stir it. Okay. That way we make sure it doesn't burn. Right. How long and do we let that sit? You know what? I usually cook it for about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Just to get all the flavors. It, it really does not take long. Beautiful. But it's one of those things. Chili to me is better if it sits overnight. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the. It, it does. just develops all that flavor. You're so right. It's, it's absolutely delicious. And I've added the zucchinis and the portobello mushrooms. That way you have some substance right. in there with all of the beans. Some so fresh healthy. oregano. And this so is good for you. It's perfect. It's very good, this for, is good you. for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the zucchinis. And I'm not just trying to convince myself. No, it <laughs> really is good. It's good for you. Well, you know, zucchinis help lower cholesterol, and right. I don't even have to go off and, uh, on a tangent about tomatoes. Sure. You know, mm -hmm. they're just so good for you and cancer preventative and everything. So, yeah. Right. So, on, on here, I've had it, um, I've started the. Um, cider. What are we doing? Cranberry cider. Yeah, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm so hot here, here in those 
onions really just went to my head. <laughs> so we're doing our half cranberry juice, and I've added an okay. orange spice tea, and that's just going to help develop some Just flavor. one tea bag in just there to let tea it bag. seep. Okay. Yes, and then I'm going to turn this on high, and you can go ahead and add the brown sugar, and you can okay. just use that cinnamon stick to kind of scoop it out. Look at that. Yeah, not all, all of oh, it. oh, well, we'll add all of it. It'll be sweet. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It's going to be nice and sweet. And then we're going to add that cinnamon stick. You can just break that cinnamon stick in two. Oh, okay, the cinnamon stick. Oh, yeah. We'll just break Ouch. that in two. Well, that, are you okay? Yes. Can we get a medic? <laughs> and then, yeah, Both just, in just in add it in. I got to double check. And then the cinnamon, and you can add just a little all bit. All of the. Yeah, <laughs> add it. Why not? I won't it's add it all. It's going to be very delicious. I just want to double check. Cinnamon and nutmeg. And then this is my favorite part is the rosemary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that time of mm -hmm. the year where you want comfort. Right. And to me, rosemary just says something about winter. So you can add like two sprigs of rosemary. Well, keep them whole? Yeah, just keep them whole. Or you okay. can tear them up, whatever you want to do. We'll just They're so pretty. I mean, just look at that. It's so pretty. I'll bring this over to the camera. That I color mean, contrast. Just look yeah. how beautiful. That is just absolutely gorgeous. So that, and then we're done with that too. That's just going to heat up. It's heated Perfect. up a little bit. And then something I love to do in the wintertime right. is spice it up. Oh, okay. Some whiskey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. <laughs> so, I'm but you have to remember, so, too, that you don't want to add the whiskey to it because then the yeah, it's going to burn, burn off. off. So, okay. yes, we have it on standby in case we decide we want to use it. But we want to use it. Oh, we want to use it. We want to use it. So then, of course, we've got some bread to right. go along with that. And you were asking me what this little great deep yes, fat is. That, if you'll go ahead and slice a few slices of bread. Okay. Um, what I do is I, you can pick this up at a craft store or at a grocery store. Mm -hmm. And what it is is you put your olive oil in here. Right. So then you can just spray. Do you want spray. Big, big hunks of this? Or? Oh, yeah, a little smart. smart. A little smaller. A little smaller? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do is you just grab your, your little bread mm -hmm. and you spray it with your olive oil. Oh, that was not all over the place. And, and they just it, toss it on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so so it, there. And you can literally like stand here and like go wild. Go at for it. rain. Isn't that cool? We should stand far. I'm going to go all the way back here <laughs> and see if it goes. Just don't hit the flame. Oh, yeah. Don't hit the oh. flame. Oh, well, maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm hitting it. That's good. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> So that way we can just, I like to eat bread with my chili. Yes. You know, and, and I like to eat bread with, with anything. anything. Bread. With anything. I know, I know. And you know what? This is where I, I'm just saying goodbye to my butters. So, you know, mm -hmm. chili, bread. And, and what, kind of, what kind of bread is this? Is this it's like called Everything Bread, and you can pick it up. Whole Foods has it. Whole Foods is a great place to pick up these fresh um, fruits and vegetables, sure. too. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? It, it has lots of seeds, mm -hmm. and it's got some poppy seeds. So it's everything that's good for you. You know, mm -hmm. I like white bread, but right. just so I, I no, feel like I'm good. doing my body good, good. And I go really ahead fresh. and do that. A yes. nice little twist on Absolutely. that. And Yum. Everything's so hearty and healthy and you perfect You want to spray that and get yes. that on here? Yep. There we go, Will. Okay. All right. All righty. And we'll get that on. There we spray. go. <laughs> and it's just, You're it's, it's so much fun. Okay. Um, she's spraying. Uh, luckily, I'm not spraying no, today. No, no, no. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, so this the flavors develop and it's it's just absolutely beautiful. And you know the the theme for this here overall with weddings, events, everything right. is health and transparency. Okay. So why not start off your here perfect with cranberries that's got lots of oxidants, yep. antioxidants, and and your beautiful vegetables. Yeah, this is good. Thought behind each ingredient that's going into here. Exactly. Now for the cider, how long are we letting this go? You know what? It's ready right now. It's oh, ready right now. Okay. Yeah. I, I, so those rosemary flavors don't really need to. It doesn't. You know what? It, it can sit for a little bit, but once you're once your liquid comes to a boil, right. it's kind of already infused. Okay. Now, Perfect. what I usually do is I make a big batch and I put it in the refrigerator and I'll just warm it up as, as I want it. All right. So, so we're going to get this into a glass, that into a bowl, bread into our mouths. And uh, if you want the recipe, <laughs> I mean, right head on over to the Roadshow page <laughs> at WPRI.com.